Hello all, welcome to the SolidWorks tutorials. In this tutorial, I am going to show you how to draw the ball bearing using SolidWorks. The ball bearing assembly has four parts. Number one is outer race, number two is inner race, number three is gauge and number four is ball. First I am going to start with the outer race. Open SolidWorks, click new and create a new part. In the outer race, I am going to draw this region, then I am going to revolve this. Select the front plane, click sketch and draw the outline of the profile. Mark the dimensions. So the height is 42 minus 34.8 divided by 2. Then the distance of this region is 3.5. Similarly, here also it is 3.5. Trim the center part and draw an arc. The radius of the arc is given as 3.2. And the outer line distance is 42 in diameter. So in radius it is 42 divided by 2. And I am going to keep the center with the center of the circle as vertical. And this dimension is also 3.6. Now you can see that the drawing is fully defined. Now draw a center line so that we can revolve this. Go to features, click revolve boss, then click OK. Now go to fillet, select these two edges and the fillet radius is given as 0 0.2. Similarly again go to fillet and select the two outer edges and the fillet radius is 0 0.6 mm. Now save this part. It is part number 1. Now close this. Next I am going to draw the inner race. Create a new part. Select the front plane. Click sketch and draw the outline of the inner race. Mark the dimensions. The inner radius is 10 mm because the diameter is 20 mm. Then the overall length is 12 mm, same as the outer race. Then the length of this region is 3.5. The length of second region is 5 mm. So that the length of the remaining region will be 3.5. Then the height. Or directly you can mark the outer diameter. So the outer diameter is 27.2 divided by 2. Now click this line, delete this and draw an arc. The radius of the arc is given and it is 3.2 mm. Now click control, click
click the center of the arc and the center point and make it as vertical. Now you can see the drawing is fully defined. Draw a center line so that we can revolve this. Go to features, click revolve boss, then click OK. Now go to fillet, select these two outer edges and the fillet radius is 0.2 mm. Then select the inner two edges and the fillet radius is given as 0.6 mm. Click OK. Now save this file. The part number is 2. Next I am going to draw the cage. So click a new part, create new one. Select the right plane, click sketch and draw two circles. The outer circle diameter is 32 and the inner circle diameter is 30 mm. Go to features, click extrude bars and extrude this to a width of 4 mm. Then click OK. Now select the top plane, click sketch and draw a circle of diameter same as the ball diameter that is given as 6.4 mm. Now go to features, click extruded cut and select up to surface. Click OK. Now I am going to pattern this. Go to circular pattern, select the features to pattern and select the direction and I am going to create 9 number of instants. So click OK. Then finally go to shell and the thickness of the cage is 1.5 mm. So enter 1.5 then select the outer face, inner face and the back face except the curved one then click OK. Now we can save this file. The file name is 3. Now you can close this. Finally we will draw the ball. So select any one of the plane. Draw a 3 point arc. So mark the radius as 6.4 by 2 then click the center point click control and the center of the drawing and make it as coincident now click control select these three points and make it as horizontal now draw a line at the center then go to features Click revolve boss and select the center line. Click OK. Then save this part. Now I am going to assemble this. So click new, create a new assembly. Select the part number 1. And click OK. Then go to insert component, select part number 2 and insert this. Then go to mate, select the inner surface of the outer rays and the outer surface of the inner rays and make it as concentric. Then select these two faces and make it as coincident. Then go to insert component. Now I am going to insert the ball, click OK. So go to mate, 
So select the top plane of the assembly and the top plane of the ball and make it as coincident. Similarly select the right plane of the assembly and the right plane of the ball and make it as coincident. Then select the curve in the inner rays and the ball and make it as tangent. So flip the mate alignment then click OK. Now I am going to pattern this. Go to circular component pattern. So select the direction and I am going to pattern this for 9 times. Then the components to pattern is the spherical ball. Then click OK. Now I have patterned this. Next I am going to assemble the cage. So select component 3. Go to mate. Select these two regions and make it as concentric. Then select the circumference of the ball and the curve provided in the cage and make it as concentric. Then click OK. Similarly insert the cage again. So change the orientation. Go to mate. Select these two surfaces and make it as concentric. Similarly select the circumference of the ball. And the curve in the cage. And make it as concentric. Then click OK.